Welcome back to Dishing You Well. I'm excited to have you guys back, as always. Well, today, I have something special, of course. What I'm going to be showing you guys today is my special broccoli salad I like to make. I like to make this dish when I'm having any sort of occasion or event where I'm serving cocktails or drinks. It goes perfect. With the diverse flavors that'll pop in your mouth, this side dish will go perfect with fried foods, chicken wings, and any sort of cocktail event. What we're going to be making today is broccoli salad. So these are all the ingredients you guys will be needing. I have here is four cups of broccoli already washed, well rinsed. You want to cut your broccoli up into bite-sized pieces. As you can see, you want to definitely cut off as much of the stem as you can. You're also going to need shredded carrots. How much you need is dependent on how much carrots you like inside of your dish. You're also going to need two cups of mayo i'm using real mayonnaise hellman's i don't suggest using to the miracle whip with this uh recipe you're also going to need uh one fourth to a half cup of uh diced onions you can use red or white yellow onions it doesn't really matter today i'm using white you're also going to need vinegar i'm using apple cider vinegar but you can use white vinegar you're going to need black pepper salt you're going to need one cup of seedless raisins. I'm using the, uh, the dark, the uh, black one, well, the dark ones, purple ones. You're also going to need a half a cup of white sugar. And you're going to need shredded uh, cheddar, sharp cheddar. Actually, I'm using extra sharp today. And that's all the ingredients you'll be needing today. It's super simple, easy to make. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to show you guys how to get the sauce started. All right, so after setting everything else to the side, these are all the ingredients you'll be needing to make the sauce. The, star, the sauce is pretty much the star of the dish. So to make the sauce, as you see, I have my two cups of mayo right here. To that, I have a half a cup of sugar. I'm going to start with, because the key to making sure that this sauce is perfect is tasting it along the way so i'm going to add most of this but i'm going to leave a little bit in because you want to make sure that it's to your liking so you'll have to adjust it along the way we also have our apple cider vin vinegar i'm going to go in with one fourth cup of apple cider vinegar and to that i'm going to add maybe a pinch of salt Again, you want to start with at least a little bit of black pepper. You want to start with the least amount because anything that needs to be added, you can always adjust it. But if you add too much, you'll make the process a lot more difficult. So now what you want to do is you want to make sure you stir this until you don't feel any of the sugar uh, grains at the bottom of the bowl. The vinegar will help dissolve the sugar, but you wanna make sure that it's beaten well and you can't fill any sugar in the bottom of the bowl. So it'll take a minute, but you definitely wanna make sure that that is completely dissolved. Again, this will be enough to basically coat your uh, four cups of broccoli. So you're going to beat that for a while. And then you want to go in and you want to taste it. So tasting it, I feel like it needs just a little bit more vinegar. slightly a little more uh, pepper and just another pinch of salt and just by my tasting I know that that's going to be enough but again you go ahead and taste it as you go if I needed any more sugar I would have added that to it but if it's to your liking then you know your sauce is perfect so that's pretty much it. That's all it is to making a sauce. Now what we'll do is we'll go into putting everything together. 
All right. So now we're going to go into getting everything mixed together. So we have our broccoli right here. You want to start adding the sauce to the broccoli mixture. You don't have to add it all at once. Again, you want to adjust this dish based on the ingredients you enjoy the most. I have one fourth cup of carrot shreds. You definitely, this is definitely important to the dish because it adds texture, crunch, and another level of sweetness to the dish. I'm going to add the onions. And depending on how much you enjoy onions or carrots would basically depend on how much you put in. It just really, it's really up to you based on what ingredients you really enjoy the most. I love raisins in this dish because it really adds that, that pop in the dish that while you're eating it, you're like, wow, what's that? It's almost like a, a wake up of uh, to your flavor buds. So I enjoy a nice amount of raisins. I have a whole cup of raisins in here. So that's just the way I like it. If you don't, you can add a half a cup or a fourth of a cup. It's really basically up to you. And I'm going to add probably a half a cup of uh, shredded cheese. Cheese, the dust. Cheddar cheese does make a, a huge difference in the flavor of this. This dish is amazing. I want y'all to tell me how it worked out for y'all when y'all attempted to make it yourself. It's easy. You can make it at any party. Trust me, the crowd will rave about it. I have a lot of people ask me to make it whenever I'm having a event and there's, you know, cocktails being served because what it does is it, it wakens your taste buds, you know, while you're drinking. Just, this dish is absolutely amazing. So you're basically going to get this all mixed in. I have the rest of the raisins. And as you're mixing, you'll be able to look and see what might be lacking in the dish while you're mixing it and i can see already that i'm going to need just a little bit more shredded cheese so i'll add that and if it looks like it's not enough uh sauce don't worry about it because another thing i want to mention this dish tastes better the next day. So if you're having an event, you want to make this the night before. Because what happens is the sauce gets a chance to really absorb into the broccoli. And all the ingredients get a chance to mesh. So you definitely want to make this either earlier that day. But it's a lot better if you make it the night before. Trust me. And that's pretty much it. So make sure everything's mixed well. It's very saucy. And that's pretty much all it is to this dish. What I'll do now is I'll show you how to pair it up and we'll be right back with that. And there you have it. Delicious, flavorful broccoli salad. As I said, it goes perfect with fried chicken wings, any fried food, and your favorite cocktail of choice. Again, I want to thank y'all for spending this time with me. And I want y'all to drop down in the comments. Let me know some suggestions y'all have for me. What y'all like to see me make next? I like to engage with you guys. Until next time, I'm dishing you well.